up y'all welcome back to my channel I am Ankita and this is my video so today we're just gonna have a real talk um, today what we're gonna talk about is body shaming so today what we're gonna talk about is a body shaming so growing up I have been through a lot of body shaming Hence why I'm wearing a hoodie, just to put that significance. Um, I have been, and I kind of still am a little bit, a little subconscious about my body, how I look like. And that's a lot because I have been through so many negative comments around me, people telling me things, that it has always, like, just made me more uncomfortable how I look like. Although I know it's it's perfectly fine however you look like you are amazing but however you look like it's just i am just not comfortable with my body and there are some reasons behind it and the reasons are is people telling me that i do not look good um so as a lot of people know that i have grown up half my life in india and half my life here i mean in total of years I have come in back and forth and whatever but 10 years here 10 years there because I'm 20 years old and that's how math works <laughs> so most uh, most of my um, teens have been there uh, until 16 and I am gonna tell you it was not pretty in the sense of um, people I mean good so I met good people like it's not that I've met good people but there are some people that you just like can I erase you because um, they would tell you things that you do not need to hear because you're already struggling with that um, so as a normal human being um, I was 13 and my body hormones everything was going like through changes through the roof and I was um, lost okay it was that year that that year was not good for me altogether i don't know what i don't want to mention what happened that year but it was just not a good year for me mentally so mentally and physically because my body was going through changes so i gained a lot of weight because i tend to stress eat and i i did that again and um i tend to stress eat and i i gained weight so I gained weight and uh, mostly because of my hormones so um, but eventually when I was 14 I lost that weight and I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere here where somewhere um, that how I looked after my weight loss so that picture is so once I gay um, lost my weight in, at 14 my weight went down and I maintained that until like early 2017 right so I had that weight and um now that I look pictures I look perfect to me I don't know why I was so ashamed of those pictures um but I look perfect to me like I was like girl you queen but if only someone told me at the time that it's fine or okay okay I'm gonna tell you this a lot of times like when your mom says something like that okay you know she loves you no matter what so it's not gonna work like that okay my mom never told me that I looked bad or anything so if she if someone else told me that I did not look good okay I know she's my mom and I should trust her whatever but she is my mom and she loves me no matter what so that point comes in consideration as well whereas when other people constantly point out to you my teachers my my peers my relatives they like constantly like he they would okay my nickname was morty okay people mentally think they're joking but that's bullying like straight up bullying like what it is not healthy it is not right it's not right so what I'm trying to say is, um, please don't do that, okay? 2020 has opened everybody's eyes, and we have come to this point where we can understand each other a little bit. 
we've all been in quarantine we all got this time to self meditate and self analyze what things are wrong um, and we should totally use this time to understand what hurts people and try to be a little bit kinder than we were before i'm not saying nobody else is kind i'm just saying let's be kinder or let's go further than what we're, whatever we were doing because clearly it's not enough and we need to uh, bring peace because it's it has been a really big issue for me for I've seen other people who have major or bigger body issues um, and people bullying like that I had this experience how I actually got to come get over my um, body shame was when I came to America in to, to 2016. <laughs> 2016, um, I would be asked, oh, you look so good. How did you like, okay, I have a good down situation. I have a good ass, okay. Um, <laughs> so people would come up to me and be like, hey, what did what workout did you do? That looks good. Like, what is it? And I'm like, back home, back in India, people would tell me that it's not pretty. And then I'm here and people are telling me that it's fine. You know, I know it's a cultural difference or whatever. Just it's okay to have it or not have it. If you don't have it and you live in a culture that it, it's good to not have it, good for you. But if somebody does have it, don't bully them. This is a bullying harassment. It's mental torture. Don't do that. Just be kind and just... If you can't say something nice, just don't say something bad to make that person feel miserable about themselves. That's the last thing you want to do. So, positive experiences in, in America boosted my self-confidence. I am getting better and better every day. I feel like that. Yes, there are days that I feel extremely low. Yes, there are still days that I do stress eat. Yes, there are days that I do tend to uh, wonder what is wrong with me but then I realized no there's nothing wrong with me there's nothing bad about me um, there's nothing bad about my body it's perfect if I'm not comfortable I will work on it but I will not mental torture myself like that and I will dare not to mental torture anybody else out in the world either um, so that's um, I just wanted to come out here quick and I just wanted to say that this is like not about countries. It was just my experience and the people I was surrounded by. So it's more technically about the people I was surrounded by, not the people's nationality. Um, it's just I met kinder people here than I met over there. Um, so that's, that's that. So just don't make it a debate over countries like this nationality and that nationality i'm just saying that i met kinder people here that i met kinder people over there but that's just my experience i think other people have other experiences and they have their own opinions so that's that's all that's it for today guys i hope you like this video if you want to share this to someone who will relate to this or is going through something like this um or anything it would help someone else just do share it is okay to be the way you are um please share please like um and subscribe to my channel so i can give you awesome messages like this um i do do fun stuff too not always real talk okay i do do fun stuff too check out my channel i danced last week so let's do that and um let's just spread kindness okay um Love ya.